Hello and welcome back to Airport CO here again on Raw Slow Gaming. And today we are going to go into the planning mode full time, or pro probably at least for the full episode. At least that's pretty much my plan to plan everything out and then hopefully it can work in a good way when we want to turn that into action. I will probably plan for way more than we have cash for but we will work with the planning tool here a lot and let the game run around it and see how it works with everything else here so to say and uh, actually are we having flights here actually going to board we have no staff here So we have shortage of passenger service staff as well. We actually do have staff standing here, but no one active. So we will very shortly go into the planning mode. So small aircraft stand seven actually got their passengers away for whatever reason which is good of course but uh, yeah still can't figure out why things are just no go not going the way we want to or we want it to so let's uh, desire a few more of these as well and just have a check here so that they haven't been assigned to the wrong terminal no stuff or is yes stuff there map agents no no we want everyone here everyone here yes so that should help at least right so uh, let We'll let this handle itself and we'll go as I said into planning mode. So first we need to press that. Planning mode active. Good. So that means we can plan the runway and things. So that is actually the first thing we will plan in or put in the medium runway. All right. So are we going to have planes landing that way or do we want it the other way around? Yeah, I think we want it that way. And that's the only one place it's going to be. And we didn't lose any cash, so that's good. Right. So then after that, we need, well, we need this actually to get away because that's going to be in the way. Can we demolish this? Oh, we could, no problem. So let's demolish a bit of that. And then we'll have uh, some of these. So just some plane at the end. And these are the medium ones, or is that the small ones? Yes, that's the small ones, but uh, the medium ones probably can take a high speed exit at around that place. And we are exiting over the other way, so it doesn't really matter this way, but it, I want it to be symmetrical, so we'll just place it in for now. So something like that, and uh, we want foundation. And we want to do this seven by seven or seven wide. Uh, 
Alright, that's still planning. Not really look like it's uh, planning mode. But uh, again, we'll, we'll take that. We'll uh, not worry about that as such. So, more packs away. Where are you? You're hiding from me. There you are. Right. So, seven white is probably sort of overkill. But I said that is how wide we want it to be. And that is what we have prepared for here as well. So, is this seven wide? One tile shorter for some reason. Right. So that can be anything. And then how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Well, I think that's the wrong button. We are going to need to place a lot more of these, the terminal, just to get an idea of uh, where things are going to go. So maybe something like that. Uh, right, we got the terminal side there already. So thinking we want something like that maybe. So that gives us... Yeah, that should maybe be enough. I think this is to the small side, but it could be enough. So obviously we're not planning in the small details at the moment. We're doing the general details. So Something like that. Now the question is exactly. Could you fit like that? You could if we move you a little bit like that. Is that something we want to do though? I don't know. But I think, I think we do. And I think it's going to be, be like that actually. So that doesn't matter as such. And alongside that, we'll have uh, a couple of really tight stands there at, at least. And then we'll have a wing over here. I kind of want to mirror that don't know exactly how much space we're going to need here. And you have three in between. I kind of want to do that as well, if possible. And that's actually it is possible. It's nice. Uh, or is it now? Not really, because we need uh, somewhere to taxi as well for the planes. So I think oh is it going to be just one standard? And uh, can this oh that's the wrong button. This actually work. Don't know if that works. Well, it works, but I don't know what will happen with the service vehicle doing like that. So this really it can work, but we should put everything closer down or just some space in between, I guess. Is that what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, this is tricky. 
maybe it's easier if we put in some more uh, planned uh, taxiway. So let's do that. Planned taxiway. All right. So we don't want to impose too much on that side as such. And we want seven wide. That's like that. All right, so let's, uh, we're going to remove one. Like so. Now there is more space here, so we could uh, possibly fit in one more standard. So let's see how that looks. Uh, it's medium, it's not large. There's, there is even a large ones. <laughs> which is crazy. So obviously we can't go like that. We can't go over, don't want to go over. So that kind of needs to be like that. Well, there is, well, the fence can be removed. So that doesn't really matter actually. And we can have a remove defense for just a little, a little place if we need to and want to. So let's plan like oh, that's still one, just one more tile. So we'll do one more tile. In the plan. And some more taxway foundation in the plan. Like that. Now we're really, really close to the entry to the terminal. I think that will be fine. Uh, we can work it on more floors and just do it really wide. I think we could get away with it. So that's that. And then we would need some terminal. And uh, yeah, probably would have road access going through here somehow. Probably there will not be, or we could just take it uh, underground. We'll see. So if we plan something similar, and get in those stands. And we'll place them the same as we did there. That means like there is a non-existent wing here really. And are these bad boys square? I believe they are, right? Yep. Then we're one tile shorter. Damn it. Kind of like the fence there or something. And I kind of want to have these two in here. Could be kind of quirky to have just one as well. Right, how does this look? This looks uh, unsymmetrical, it looks challenging, and it doesn't really look right, to be honest. This looks pretty fun and interesting as such. How many stands do we got in here? 4, 10, 11. Could squeeze in so we get in 12. Hmm. I don't know. I 
I don't know. If we just give more space on this side, just or rather do this tighter, we could get it in. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're basically going to copy this. And that will allow us to get in uh, 13 stands instead. And I think that is what we prefer. So we will do like that and then we'll have what would we have? Like that? Yes, like that. All right, and an emergency. And uh, just some repairs there. So that's all right. How is everything handling here? Yeah, we're still having issue with the uh, Boarding. Well, th these are landing late, but that's fine. But, uh, yeah, I would think the not boarding issue is still an issue. Other than that, it looks sort of all right. The queue isn't all right, but hey, we're concentrating on this at the moment. And as we're concentrating on this, I'm uh, going to look into the terminal side. Do remember to smash that like button and uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to follow along and see how this all turns out. And as you're doing that, hit that small notification bell if you want to be really sure of not missing out on anything. And uh, yeah, check out the links in the description as well if you're interested in supporting the channel even more. So next up is how will we tax in and out of these stands? And that is a good question because I don't know. So obviously service row can no service row can't go straight down from there. And we don't have any room there. That's an issue. Right. And they can't go like that because, well, they could, they could, and we will, and we will make that work then. So it got to be the stance. They got to be like this. And that mean We'll have a very interesting little uh, little uh, boarding area for that. I guess we're going to have boarding outside if we can. I guess we we can somehow uh, make that viable. We must make that viable. Next issue is of course that we're going to be having that, but uh, we can just, we don't, definitely don't need the terminal here at the bottom level. So we're going to demolish, demolish that. Demolish, well, what? Ever. Right, so like that, and the question still were how will we get in to the stance? So the taxiway foundation, this is obviously just going to be one big thing. Do you want to really like that or do you want to move you down one click? I think we want to move you down one click as well. So I'll do that for that one that I can change now. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't allow me to do the other one. Well, that might be a reason. 
that mollish. Close, then mollish. Yes. What happened with my planning thingy? Right. Demolish. Nope. Doesn't go away. Interesting. So it seems to be a little bit broken that too. But yeah, take note that the planning mode is active. But you have should have gray everything for that to be true, I guess. So I guess that's my fault, sort of. Yeah, like that. Just let me see here. Have I placed real pulse then? No. That's still removed. Yep. Right. So something like that. And I think that this is just not really going to be looking that beautiful, but realistically, this is how it would look. And I will just uh, draw that in correct, as correctly as we can. Yeah, I kind of like the look of that, to be honest. I, I think that looks all right. And uh, if I, can I remove you now? I just want to remove you. No. Right. So this is still white. So I, I don't know. I don't know how that works, to be honest. Right, so that sort of means, yeah, we actually got that sort of sorted for that. I think we will just, uh, oh, really? So, do something like that. Uh, something like that. Sorry for that placement. That is obviously not good. But we'll be able to sort of see how this will look anyway. Right, better way around. So, something like that is what we're going to have to move around with. And as you see, of course, the old terminal, we can fit like quite many in here. This is definitely not a big terminal in itself though. And it will be so much more busy than uh, this one. So I think this will be interesting as we're starting to build it up and uh, letting passengers in. Of course, that will be very costly and everything, but uh, I think we can do it somehow. Obviously, the runway and everything is going to be needed first, but if we toggle off the planning mode for a little while now and Right, build plan. So your planning mode. Planning mode active, yes. Planning mode not active. Right. So is this kind of like a sheet as well? It's like all my taxway now built free. It's it's like strange. Also, like if I, let's, let's try this. How do I actually use this tool? So if I just now want to place a runway, can I place that there? No, I can't. All right. 
So I guess, yeah, I guess this is a really shitty way of building terminal and uh, taxiways and everything. Because it didn't cost me anything when I built that, right? I didn't see anything about that at least. I'm pretty darn sure. How are we doing here? Yeah, so you see here, but they aren't checked in. Why aren't they checked in? No available check in desks. Well, we have how many check in desks do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have 18. And how many stands do we got? We got 10, 13, 17. And we had 18 there. Shouldn't be a, an issue. Shouldn't be an issue. And all are open. Yeah, all are open. So don't understand trouble there either. So like, like I, I really love and like this game, but still here in beta, it can be a little bit hard to understand. It's very complex and it's not doing its the best job ever to explain itself or saying what's wrong. And also doesn't really explain how to use all the tools. Of course, I haven't really played or looked at the tutorial in a long time. And the game has come a long way since three years ago when I first played it. But uh, yeah, it's some things I, I just don't understand. Like I just don't understand why nobody is boarding the buses. I just don't really understand this planning tool that I try to use now. I do understand it, but I don't understand it because it's doing two different things, I feel. It works for these kind of things and the terminal foundation, no. The taxiway, taxiway no. For action objects, maybe, I don't know, I haven't tried. And like now I can't remove this piece that I want to remove. Uh, so I have no clue really. I do understand this build plan tool that seemed fine. And the template and copy paste mode is pretty nice as well. But like this planning mode, white, yeah, you're planning, sure. Yellow, you're not. Why is all of these things here that I planned firm objects? It's it's very, very strange, actually. I'll take it for sure, because that means we are going to be able to move things forward a little bit faster. So that's all nice and good, but, uh, but still, <laughs> I'm getting very confused about it. Uh, speaking about something else, I should also have a look on the R&D if we should do something. And I'm pretty sure we should be doing something. And new objects. All projects are completed. Completed projects. Right, all right. So I guess, yeah, I guess since I pressed the sandbox mode, Everything there is available to us. And I think maybe we saw some things there. When pressing, yeah, here that, yeah, the icing and things here that uh, I haven't really unlocked. And that's fine or done R&D for. Uh, and that's fine for this playthrough. I guess we mucked it up anyway. And I think also in the next season, if we do a next season or when we do, which we of course will do, uh, it's not a question about if, it's a question about when and when would probably be when there is a final release, so to say, when it's leaving the 
beta stage and just uh, retail release, so to say. But anyway, I don't know what I were doing. Yeah, I fudge up the save. Yeah, that's right. And <laughs> that I were going to say that next time I will actually probably play in sandbox mode if nothing really interesting is happening like maybe campaigns or something like that because if they're getting missions slash campaigns or whatever in the game we will for sure play through that and give you a look on that but enough rambling and babbling from me about nothing so that will be the end of the episode and thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time bye bye you have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.